Hello Einstein class. Today I'm outside. As you can see, I've got my hat, my coat on, I've got my boots on and it's actually not that cold but it's the end of the day and I thought it would be nice to come out and talk to you out here because something very exciting is happening outside at the moment. I wonder if you've noticed what it is. In a minute I'm going to pause this and turn the camera around so we can have a look and see if we can spot some exciting things. Have a little think about what you think I'm talking about while I pause the camera and start again in a moment. Okay, ready? Well, here we are. Look what you can see. These are the most beautiful flowers. Look at those inside, aren't they gorgeous? They're called hellebores and they grow in the middle of the winter. But then I want to show you this tree. This tree is by my front door. Can you see my front door's over there? Just up there. And this little tree is a weeping willow tree. Now, is it alive or is it dead? Is it a lot of old sticks or is it growing something? Have a little look. I'm going to get close and see what you can spot. What are those things there? Can you see? What are these? Do you know? You go a little bit further along because this is the best bit of this tree. <gasps> Look at these. These are called pussy willow because they are like cat's paws. They're soft and fluffy. They look like bunny's tails. Can you see them? If I can, I might bring you some into school so that you can have a look at them. It's exciting being in the garden at this time of year because things that you thought had gone all dead and crispy and not alive anymore have suddenly come back to life. It's a very special time and it's the end of winter but it's nearly spring. I'm going to come around the corner now and I'm going to show you something else. This is our new baby. She's called Coco Flu Flu or floof for short, because she's got a vague floofy tail and floofy ears. But I want to come over here, actually. This is just by my door. And you can see some things in the ground. So this is an old bulb, which has finished flowering. And at the bottom, you can see the white roots. And at the top, you can see what's left of the leaves. And down here, look at these. These are tiny daffodils called narcissi. And if you look closely, excuse me, Flu Flu, you can see on the ground, can you see at the bottom there, it looks like onions. Those are the bulbs that they're growing from. Well, what an exciting thing. I'm going to stop by looking at Flu Flu because she's so fluffy. I expect you're much more excited to see Flu Flu than you are to see me. But just have a little think about all those things we've seen. The hellebores, the pussy willow on the tree, the bulbs that are growing and shooting up and bringing flowers, there are all around us signs of spring. And spring is all about new beginnings and new life. In church at the moment, we're thinking about a special season called Lent. And it's all about getting ready for Easter. Do you remember in December you had Advent when you were getting ready for Christmas and lots of you had Advent calendars with chocolate? Well, Lent is a bit like that, but it takes longer. It lasts for over 40 days and it helps us to think about how we live our lives and how we are getting ourselves ready for new life, just like spring. How we're getting rid of all the dead old bits of branches and so on in ourselves, in our lives, and getting ourselves ready to live a new way and celebrate Easter. So, over the next few weeks, we're going to think about Lent in lots of different ways. I'm going to finish now with a little moment of quiet and a prayer. And I'm going to turn the camera around one more time so that you can look at some beautiful flowers while I say our prayer. Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the beauty of our world, for the changing of the seasons for the promise of new life that we see all around us at the moment in the flowers and trees in our gardens. We ask you to help us think about new life for ourselves and how in Lent we might be able to get rid of the things that are rubbish and broken and no use to us anymore and grow into new life 
at Easter. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you again next week. I might be inside then, but um, if the weather stays like this, I think it might be fun to be outside, mightn't it? And in a couple of weeks' time, you'll be back in school, which is really exciting. And I hope that I will soon be able to see you again like I did at Christmas. You take care. See you soon.